Yo, yo, we are back in After Effects. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create this fractal reveal transition you can call. And this effect is actually inspired by Rustin. He's the guy who falsely made a tutorial on it. And in here, I'm just trying to like recreate the effect. So I'll link his channel down below if you want to check him out. But let's just get into After Effects and show you how to do this. So in my timeline, you can see I have these two clips stacked up in each other. It's really important to like stack up your clip. It will make more sense as we actually make the effect but just like stack it up for now but anyways to start off just right click on a blank space and just create a new solid right here the solid can be any color so i'm gonna go with like the black and just hit ok you can actually like click on this clip as he did mobile attribute and you can name it fractal to like be a little like organized just trim it where you want the transition on so I want the transition around here so around here as you can see i trimmed it to this length if you know the shortcut it is the brackets key on your keyboard to like trim it you can see if i go here i can like trim it like that but anyways in here we're gonna start off with the fractal noise as you might already guess so firstly we're gonna go to basics and set it to dynamic and go with the soft linear and set it to zip line i guess yes yeah, zip line i'm not sure how to like pronounce that actually now go to transform and you can just scale it up uh, 500 and as i said these are the settings that rustin used so i'm just like kind of recreating it on my own way but anyways you can even go to complexity and i like to bring it up to like 7 or 10 we'll bring it up more if we want in the future but for now go away says brightness and now in here we're gonna make like a what you call it like a luma mat from the fractal noise so we can like link it to our footage and get the transition going so hit the stopwatch in the brightness and contrast and select those keyframes and put it at the first frame and at the first frame i like to bring up the brightness so it's like fully white as you can see and go over to the end frame now and just like lower down the brightness until it turns into like full black so minus 75 for some so you can see we have a simple like fractal noise right here going on but i also like to keep him the contrast so i'm gonna go over to the end and just like bring up the contrast as it goes and you can even play with the brightness to like disappear it more because playing with the contrast will like mess it up a little bit so something like that now we're gonna select both of these keyframes and go over to where you want the color so right here i want like the transition so i'm gonna select the brightness keyframe and go into graph and for now go to value graph and make a simple graph like this in here nothing too crazy in it so oh actually to get a better view you can go over to speed graph yeah find a spot we want like the transition on so something like this now we're gonna go to contrast keyframe so select those and go into graph actually right here right so we're gonna go to contrast one and make a similar graph on it so something like that and now we can see we have a smooth turbulence going on but i think at the end i'm gonna lower down the brightness more because it is like peeking through yeah something like that but now we're gonna animate our evolution as well so hit the stop button in the evolution on the fractal noise and hit u when you keyboard to bring up the keyframe as you can see make sure you're in fast frame and go to last and just bring it up to however how much you like so let's just go with like 300 or something then you can just like ease those keyframes and go over to the spot point where you want like the transition happening selecting there and just make a simple graph like this so you can see now it looks so much smoother now our fractal noise is ready pretty much so we're gonna select our footage layer which is this one the first footage layer if i hide the fractal because we don't need the fractal actually just hide it but anyways you can see these two footage like make sure they are also like stacked up and then select your fast footage where you want the transition happening and toggle switch and most real click and go over to where it says track mat and just link it to the fractal and if only it will be on like the alpha mat so just click it to turn it into luma mat and that easily you can see the transition already going on i'm telling you this is one of my favorite transition because this looks so smooth but anyways you can go to complexity and play around with those to get like a look that you want 
you can even like bring the contrast more i guess you can always play around with all of these like modes to get like different transition you can see fractal looks different uh type size type size also looks different oh this looks totally different bro but anyways you can like play around all of these yeah this is like a dusty transition but anyways i think you get the point we're gonna set it to dynamic again now we can start adding some effect at top to like to actually like top it off so i'm gonna select my footage layer which our fractal is connected onto and select the fractal pre-comp as well and just pre comp both of those layer again like that so it is on the one layer so as you can see you can even bring the clip over so it is a little smoother like that so i guess yeah that looks a lot smoother right there but anyways i like to give it like a red kind of color into it as it goes so i'm gonna add a tritone for that and go to midpoints and just set it to red and go to blend with origin and just bring it up and go over to end and just slow it down so you can see we have the red kind of look going on and it like goes in looks really cool right there i think this can easily replace like the ink transition trend going on because it looks way better and way smoother but even if you like you can add like a optical glow and just like bring up the highlights only and just like bring up the size a little bit go to alpha channel and set it to extended on more firstly if you don't have optical glow you can go with a deep glow or like a simple after fx glow but we're gonna use the optical glow for now and hit the stopwatch in the amount and just set it to zero at first and go over to the transition and you can just bring it up this is not like a very important step you have to follow but you can if you have optical glow laying around in your computer now after the optical glow you can see this transition going on it looks so cool with like the glows and stuff so the possibilities are endless for sure you can always like mess around with different effects to get different looks you can even like uh easy the optical glow keyframes and like with like transition you can just like go into graph and just like pick it there so something like that as you can see or uh, maybe a little slower and right away transition you can create an adjustment layer and at the top you can add like a uh distort chroma from sapphire and just bring up the blur lens and just lower down the amount and just like animate the amount as it goes as well so something like this zero to zero point 200 and back to zero so there's like a million ways to like utilize this effect into your music video as i showed you i created like two examples so this is like the first one that i created and this is like the second one and you can even like not use all of these effect and leave it simple as it is as i showed you so something like this would look really clean as well but anyways my final effect looks something like this as i told you go ahead and check out rustin on youtube he's a total dope creator so you can learn something new from him as well but anyways that's it for today's video guys if you like this video please consider hitting the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this follow me on instagram do all that good stuff and i'ma see you tomorrow and i'ma see you on the next video peace